All right, are we ready? Six o'clock in the morning. Oh, Psalm 84, the pilgrimage of soul. Happy the pilgrims inspired by you with courage to make the ascents. As they go through the valley of the weeper, they make it a place of springs, clothed in blessings by early rains. Thence they make their way from height to height, soon to be seen before God on Zion. Yahweh, hear my prayer, listen, God of Jacob, God of Shield, now look on us and be kind to your anointed. Getting up that morning, then of course getting ready to go, and then starting to walk in the dark. Basically within the first 45 minutes, uh, the hills became uh, significant. Right, right, go right, right. right. proud of ourselves and most of all we're proud of each other even though sometimes you may doubt yourself but we all kind of like we're kind of inspired by each other why are we here why are, <laughs> why are we doing this silly thing <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get out of here <laughs> get that thing out of my face talking about we're supposed to go up here you can go that way i'll take the higher road <laughs> 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 but I did meet Christine, and it's so weird because she lives in Binghamton, and I'm going to Binghamton University. Remember, like the first thing she said was that I'm gonna have a home cooked meal whenever I go over there, and I'm like, yes. I was feeling fine walking into it. My left ankle began to swell a little bit. I broke my ankle back in 2001. If there isn't pain, then it's just tourism, you know. <laughs> so. Uh... Yeah, but it's the Camino, so there is going to be pain. You know, I think one thing I really like this year is you can't be afraid. Like, you can have all the bravado, like, for other people. When it comes to yourself, like, you just can't be afraid. Like, sometimes you have to have faith in each other. Like, faith in, like, your fellow human being. Halfway through the day, we stopped and had Mass. The, the experience of literally saying Mass off an iPad uh, in a country church in northern Spain is, is a little surreal. One day, you put in three very full long days. Moses says, be brave and steadfast. This is to Joshua. For you must bring this people into the land which the Lord swore to their fathers you would give them. Once we left that little town, was extremely difficult. A lot of up and down hills. Right, obviously, it can be tempting to see all these things happening around you. You have to stay focused. Don't focus on the storm, focus on Jesus. Um, literally walking through people's homes, you know, through their land, which also struck me as quite beautiful. You know, that people would let us walk through their land. We are on our way to Asturias. We just figured out we're about two miles away. We're gonna need a uh, albergue. You know, go up the road a bit. You don't have to go just before the, just before the city. We had been in hotels up until that point. Nothing fancy at all, but we were comfortable. And there was one hostel there, and it was literally a hostel. There was no door. We were all, 12 of us were gonna be together in the same room. Yeah, freak out central. See, I might have been able to do this like the first night, and I'm like a little spoiled. Now you're a little spoiled? <laughs> Listen, it's all about the experience, kid. You're, you're, um, you're, you're going to love the experience. The experience. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Who is that? It's Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Strange men walking around, using our bathroom. I'm not happy camp. Can you stop shaking? <laughs> the fly is at least the problem. We're going to have people coming in and out of here. Why are people coming in and out of here? Because For the bathroom. There's another room and there's a bathroom. But I thought that we have a private bathroom. No. Do they have a. I see we sleep outside. I say we just take a cab to the next quaint town. I know where we're going to end up. Especially just putting our stuff down and going right across the street to kind of this outdoor restaurant, bar. You know, we had a chance to spend time together outside of the city. There was nothing to do except talk to each other. At the end of the day, we were always together. Whether we were complaining or laughing, we were always together. <laughs> How far are we going to work? Monte Gozo, uh, 33 uh, kilometers. Are you freaking kidding me? We decided to 
Made it all through the world. As much as I was unhappy with the uh, setting, I couldn't have been more happy with the cast of characters.